Critical Analysis, this is your last video. Welcome to week 15. This runs from May 3rd through May 9th. May 9th is when our class will close. I will have grades wrapped up um, probably that evening uh, into the next morning, depending on when everyone submits everything that night. So uh, yeah, let's get started on our week 15 video and just some reminders and things as we we get ready to close up shop. Okay, so if I'm scrolling down to week 15, this is our final course reveal. Now in a typical face-to-face -face or even web two section of this class, there is a final project. But because this is my first time teaching this class completely web, mostly because COVID necessitated it, um, I did not build in the final project. So instead, there is like a final course review that's going to take its place. So. You can see there's no materials folder because there's nothing extra in terms to review uh, for materials. If you go into the assignment folder, there are two assignments this week. Your discussion post, which is due by Wednesday. So please still make sure you post by Wednesday for your week 15 attendance. And it is basically just asking you what is something that has been helpful in the class and what is one piece of advice you would give to a future critical analysis student. So I really do want to hear your feedback, um, even if you want to put in something that maybe wasn't as helpful. As I mentioned, uh, this is the first time I've ever taught this class completely uh, online. I've taught it for years and years, face to face and even web too. But COVID kind of pushed us all to, to do things a little differently. And this is the first time I've taught it fully online. I am scheduled to teach it fully online again in the fall, one section of it with my others being face to face. So if you honestly do have some feedback for me, I would love to hear it. I do like to incorporate that. So something that was helpful or even something you would recommend changing, uh, a piece of advice you would give to a future critical analysis student. So another reminder if you have not done so already, please make sure you are interacting with your classmates. Um, you've had 15 weeks to do so, but a couple of you have not. So this may be your last chance to uh, go in and respond to classmates and make sure that you are getting those uh, you know, participation points. 10 interactions, and I have a little tally chart that I keep so I know who's done it. If you've already done it, I've already entered your participation grade. So please make sure you do that. Okay, your course review packet, this is due on Sunday, May 9th. So this is your only assignment this week, course review packet. You'll open it up. It's going to open up into a PDF. Now this is from a text. I just scanned it in. Uh, I, I didn't convert it because honestly, it would have taken probably days <laughs> to like type all this up and you know, convert it into a Blackboard uh, like test, so to speak. So I apologize for that. Um, so it's going to cover basically all the skills we talked about this semester. There are three tests, and I'm, I'm, you can't see me, but I am using test in quotation marks because it's not like a test, it's more just a review for you to practice these concepts. There are three, test one, it has 10 questions, and you can see already, topic, main idea, there's vocabulary, um, there are patterns of organization, conclusions, opinions, author purpose, to audience. I mean, so this really does pull in the content from the entire class. Uh, there's test two, and then you can see they're all based on the little selection, you know, just a few paragraphs. Test two is based off of this selection. There's 10 questions. And then test three is based off of this selection, and there's 10 questions. Now, how do you turn this in? And again, sorry, when I scanned it, some of the pages a little bit more crooked than others. How do you turn this in? So here's one suggestion. Open up a Word document, and you can just have this. Come on now. Be, you know, as you go, test one and all the answers since it's multiple choice. If you wanted to, you know, write it on a piece of paper and scan that paper in or write it on paper first and then get in here and under write submission, you can copy over your answers after you've written them down. Whatever works for you, just make sure you submit that by Sunday the 9th. Um, for this course review packet, okay? And that's just one last chance to kind of just review and make sure you're um, going over and thinking about all the different concepts we've talked about in this course. So that is week 15. Nothing new to like teach. It's it's not a final exam, but it is the final like, culminating kind of piece. So please make sure you respond to the discussion post by Wednesday for week 15 attendance. Interact with 10 classmates. If you have not done so already, that's a lot of interaction in one week, but um, it, it might be for some of you your only chance to do that. 
and then your course review packet. Another couple reminders. Um, in week 13, I believe it was, no, 14, sorry, you saw your week one reopen and you, hopefully some of you took advantage. Um, I'll be able to tell here. I'm actually recording this in week 13, so I'll see you next week. So week one is reopened in week 14 for anyone to make up work from that. You can see it'll be through the weekend, the Friday, Saturday, Sunday, April 30th, 1st and 2nd. And then weeks two and three will open up Friday, Saturday, Sunday of week 15, May 5th, 6th, 7th. I'm sorry, longer than that. I'm giving you guys longer than that. Um, Wednesday, May 5th, through the weekend to the 9th. Okay, so week two and three. Week two was on the language of college. Week three was on chapter one. So I really do encourage you, if you did not get work done early in the semester, please go back and um, take advantage of that. So it'll open up on Wednesday, May 5th, through Sunday, May 9th. Sunday, May 9th, everything will close. There will be no more submissions, acceptance of late work, anything like that, which brings me to your mastery skills. So I've been reaching out to each of you individually and saying, hey, you have X amount of skills done. You need to have them done by this date. So uh, I've been trying to keep you up on that. But just as a final reminder, every skill needs completed, every uh, one of these 10 skills. That does not mean post-test one and two in, inside each of one of them. One post-test in each skill done by Sunday, May 9th. Uh, by the time you view this video, all will be open. This is the only one that's not open yet. It's opening up in week 14. All will be open by the time you view this video. And combined skills goes right along with your course review because it is the you know re review of the entire semester. So please make sure you complete all of those. Even not completing one will take your grade below the needed 80% because this is 25% of your grade. You have to have an 80% in the class to pass, you have to have an 80% or higher on mastery skills to pass. So um, use my videos, guys. I have videos for every single skill, some of them for both post tests. So if by some chance one of them doesn't go well, you can look at the other one, I'm like two post tests there. You can look at the other one to help you. Uh, so please take advantage of these. Uh, you'll also see that it's there for combined skills. <clears throat> okay, so real quick recap. May 9th, that's the day. Um, have all of your mastery skills done. Makeup work and weeks two and three are available until May 9th. And week 15, your course review packet and your attendance post. Make sure you're getting that done this week. Uh, thank you guys so much for a great semester. Uh, I know for me personally, the online format for this class is not my favorite. I do enjoy and think it's been really beneficial to have it face to face, but I think we did a nice job considering COVID and the different circumstances around having this class online. I really en enjoyed interacting with each of you. A few of you came to see me face-to-face -face this semester, so that's always nice to see my online students in a face-to-face in a -face format. But just because our class is ending, please don't think you can't reach out. Um, you know, you have my contact information. If you ever need anything, if you have questions, um, you know, through the summer, fall, whenever, please let me know. I I'm happy to help. Hopefully we'll be back on campus completely in the fall. You can stop by and say hi if you're around. And I hope everyone truly does have a great summer. Um, good luck if you have any finals, anything like that. And I hope to see or talk to, to, to some of you in the future. Bye.